Okay, Sam, based on the test I just did to you, you're under arrest for criminal vehicle operation. You understand that? Mm hmm. Put your other hand behind your back. You have anything I needed I should know about? Nope. I'll be 10, 15 years, one to two. What's going to happen to me? Well, Sam, you are going to be booked into the Riot County Jail. Um, I am going to read you the Miranda, uh, Miranda warning and uh, implied consent. And then we are going to get a search warrant for your blood. You understand that? How Cena? What's that? How Cena? Uh, I don't know yet. She wasn't doing good, that's for sure. I didn't mean to do it. I know. It's an accident. But now you just gotta deal with your consequences, right?
Sorry. I know you are, Sam. But you gotta tell that to the family. Power Lake with one. Hey guys, got one for criminal vehicle operation. Hey, what's your name? Sam. Sam, okay.
compass. All right, Samuel Gatz, I believe you have been driving, operating, or controlling a motor vehicle in violation of Minnesota DWAI laws, and you have been placed under arrest for the offense. And you have been involved in a motor vehicle accident resulting in property damage and personal injury and death. Minnesota law requires you to take a determine if you are under the influence of alcohol. Refusal to take a test is a crime. Because I also have probable cause to believe that you have violated a criminal vehicle or homicide or injury law, a test will be taken without your consent. Before making your decisions about testing, you have the right to consult with an attorney. If you wish to do so, a telephone and a directory will be available to you. If you are unable to contact an attorney, you must make a decision on your own. You must make your decisions within a reasonable period of time. If the test is unreasonably delayed, or if you refuse to make a decision, you'll be considered to have refused the test. Do you understand what I just explained to you? Do you wish to consult with an attorney? Will you provide a blood sample for me? Okay. All right, you come with me, sir. We'll go this way over here to the holding cell. All right, so here's what's going to happen next. Because your actions result in the death of two people and one is still in critical condition, what I have to do is I have to draft a warrant for your blood. You understand that? All right, I wish you all the luck in the world, man. Samuel Curtis Scotts, 1214-1998. And address? 203 Westgate Terrace. Uh, city? Winston. Okay, 55395? Yep. 320-421-3423. Okay. Uh, are you employed? Uh, yeah. Or a full-time student? Full-time student. Uh, I need a contact person, somebody to notify in case you were to get ill. Dead. Okay. Same last name? Yep. First name? Bruce. Okay. Height and weight? Uh, 5'11", 250. Uh, any scars, marks, or tattoos? A couple scars, but no tattoos. Okay. Uh, do you know if you have medical insurance? Yeah. Okay. Uh, where were you born? Uh, Waconia. Uh, just to let you know, you're being booked on criminal vehicular operation. Uh, it's a felony. Um, court will be uh, probably Monday or Tuesday. 
You've been arrested by arrested for the charges of criminal vehicular operation or being detained at the Ray County Jail. As part of the intake process, you'll be searched, fingerprinted, and photographed. We are required to complete a booking sheet which will contain information about you. This information may be used by the Ray County Sheriff's Office and other criminal justice agencies for identification purposes. All right, uh, stand up straight, look right at the camera. I'm gonna take the first photo. All right, turn face the brick wall. I'm gonna take a second photo. All right, I'm gonna have you come around here. You're required by law to provide this information. Right, Failure to provide this information may result in contempt charges and continued confinement. You'll be required to answer questions about the condition of your health and medical insurance coverage. This information may be used by the Ray County Sheriff's Office and shared with medical service providers for treatment. Information gathered about you may also be used to collect payment for room and board and other related correctional expenses as allowed by Minnesota statute. This information may be shared with any collection agency with which Wright County might contract. Telephone calls with the exception of programmed attorney phone numbers are subject to monitoring and recording. All right, now I need the bottom part of your palm. Okay, the side of your hand. And then the top part of your palm. All right. All right, the next process is you're going to change out into our clothes. And we'll step in here. And then I'll have to have you put all your stuff into the bag uh, when you're changing. Okay. Ready? All right. Come on out. This is your property bin. has your bedding. We're going to go with the cell here. Hey, how's it going? Good! I just got my acceptance letter to Bemidji. Hey, that's awesome. I know, I can't wait. It's gonna be great. We can go to parties, hang out, be in classes together, go to movies and dinners and stuff. It'll be really fun. I'm very excited. I love you, Sam. I can't wait to start our future together. which support the flower or uh, it cools the flower before it's open. Um, as you all know, you know, I've kind of uh, taken this role on since, uh, um, you know, Cena was very passionate about this uh, subject area and we obviously don't have her around anymore.
seats. Will you trade seats with me? No. Too bad. Thank you. This is docket SG53437. This is one of the most tragic cases I've seen in a very long time, and it will have a lasting ripple effect on the community because it involves young lives, and it involves your life as well. You made a choice knowing that you're not of age, so you broke the law, number one, by drinking, and then number two, getting behind the wheel of a car and making that car a deadly weapon. I know that you're sorry and I understand that there are too many lives that have been destroyed by your conduct on that day. You took it upon yourself to change these lives and you must be held accountable for that. I heard from Mr. Glossing who stated that his daughter will forever miss the bedtime stories and butterfly kisses that her mother gave her each night before she'd go to sleep. I also heard from Ms. Lent when she said she'll be waiting for her son to come home but that no matter how long she waits, he never will. I heard from all the victims and the families and how their lives have been tragically impacted, all with one decision. No matter how much you might want to take that one decision back, Mr. Gotts, you can't. That decision and the result of that decision will forever ripple through your community. If you don't get this message, hopefully those that hear about your sentence will. So as you sit here for the rest of your life, because it's very likely you will die in prison, hopefully that decision will affect someone else who will think twice before they get behind the wheel of a car while impaired. As you sit in your jail cell, I hope you'll reflect upon the enormity of that decision that you made. You warrant a sentence in the state prison. For the conviction of felony criminal vehicular homicide, I sentence you to the aggravated maximum term of 20 years confinement in the Minnesota Department of Corrections. On the second count, I sentence you to one third the midterm in addition in the state prison. For the third count, I'll sentence you to one third the midterm in the state prison. And for the fourth count for driving under the influence causing great bodily injury, I'll sentence you to one-third the midterm. Your total aggregate term in the state prison is 41 years.